Hey, what's up guys? I'm Justin. And I'm Addison. He's my brother, and today we are taking a look at the uh, Naruto Sage Mode uh, GameStop exclusive Funko Pop from the Naruto Shippuden line. So taking a look at the packaging, of course we've got the Naruto Shippuden logo up at the top, as well as Naruto in his Sage Mode on the front and sides of the box with that very cool like Naruto themed background there. And then on the back of the box, I'll let you do it again because you know the pronunciation's a lot better than I do. Okay, so we have Naruto, and that's the Rasengan Naruto. We have Kakashi, Sakura, Tobi, Naruto Sage Mode, and Naruto Six Path. And the Naruto Six Path, again, is the Hot Topic exclusive, and the Sage Mode, which we're taking a look at right now, is the GameStop exclusive. We also did a video on the Six Path one as well, if you want to go check that out. So taking a look at the fear, um, starting off with the head, we have his headband that looks really nice. It has the indent on it. Ours has a little paint uh, mistake there, but... I don't think that's all of them that have that. He, he has the uh, frog eyes, very good paint on the eyes. The headband is like the Rasengan one where it's um, flowing to the side. Taking a look at the body, um, it's very nice. It's flowing, like sort of like um, the wind's blowing. And he has a summoning scroll on the back there. That looks really nice. Um, besides that, he's in a pretty, like... Like arms crossed pose. Yeah, like is that, that's crossed. like his traditional uniform, though, right? Like the orange suit underneath. The I mean, orange just... suit underneath. The this red uniform is when he fights pain. He only wears that once. So that like other than the um like the trench coat, I mean, like underneath, like with his where his um like normal suit is. That's that's pretty much going to be like his normal outfit. Um, he's got his cool little. I mean, those are his like usual shoes that he's got on too, mm -hmm. right? Um, sculpted out little toes again, like he said with the headband. Um, that's actually like indented in, so that's really cool. Like I like when um, details like that, like the little uh, like bolts and the actual um, symbol are both indented in there. Um, it's a really cool looking pose too. Like it's a very like I don't even know how to describe. Like he just looks cool the way that he's got like his arms crossed there. He looks very powerful. I'm guessing he's like super powerful in this mode yeah, or whatever. Definitely. Um, very cool looking pose. And again, like he said with the headband, that's really awesome. Like I love the flowing makes it look like you know there's motion in the figure while it's standing completely still and I think this is Naruto's basic head mold um, or like hair mold as well like um, probably like his typical one but it's a very cool figure the paints really good again um, other than that little like scratch there but it's really not that bad it actually kind of looks cool it almost looks like a battle like damage or something like that um, but that's probably like an easy fix as well so then discussing price and how we feel about the figure, this is a $12.99, again, GameStop exclusive. You should be able to get it on their website as well as in the store. It actually just came out the 18th. That's the day that we're filming it right now. Um, and usually, like, GameStop exclusives, they, they're pretty uh, plentiful with them, so you shouldn't have that hard of a time uh, finding this figure. And I think this is a really cool figure. You know, not really knowing that much about Naruto, I still really like this one and the Six Path. I think I'm a little bit more in favor of the Six Path one. If you can't get him to stand yeah, up, he can just he's, flip him. He's pretty back heavy. He's really back heavy. I mean, again, that may not be a problem with all of the figures. Um, but this is a really cool mold. I think I just like this the uh, Six Path one a little bit more because the paint is really cool on, like I said, the, uh, the orange and yellow accents on it. Um, and all around, this is still a really cool figure. It's got a very cool face, um, you know, paint and everything, and the uh, flowing, like, windy-looking effects on his jacket and his headband are really cool. Um, what did you think about this one? I know you like this one more yeah, than the Yeah, this, this one I think is really cool just because of his dynamic pose, and I just really like his um, his outfit in this one because he only wears it once, and that's when he fights pain, and I, I thought that was his coolest look he ever got. Yeah, uh, but both of these, both this and the Six Path One are very, very cool figures. I would definitely recommend both of them because seeing them in person, seeing the Six Path in person, they're very impressive figures. Again, the Six Path is glow in the dark. This one is not. Um, so that's another thing, like the Six Path, a little bit different, but um, they're both really, really cool figures. I'm sure most Naruto fans are going to like both of them, though. Um, and this one, again, is available at GameStop now, so you guys can pick it up in store, or I'm sure they'll have it online if it's not online already. But, um, yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you did like the video, make sure you give it a like down below. Make sure you guys leave a comment. Let us know what you thought of this one, which one you like more. And uh, make sure you guys get subscribed so you see more videos just like this one in the very near future. If you'd like to see Addison come back on again as well and review more stuff with me, leave a comment down below for that as well. Uh, but you guys have a good one. Good luck out there. And keep on collecting. All right. See you in the next video. Hey, guys. It's Justin. For the end of the video, we've put the button to subscribe, as well as a couple other videos we think you might also like.
So get subscribed to see more videos just like this one from us soon. Thanks, good luck out there, and keep on collecting.